if you didn't come from um, a house where they own their own business or created their own business or something like that, it wasn't modeled. And, and, and your upbringing has a lot to do with what your mindset is. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 399th episode of Potty Whoa. Talk. Hey, and we have a, this is a fun one. Okay. I always say this is a fun one, uh-huh. but it's kind of a basic one. Okay. And um, I think, well, the title is, you know, how to succeed as a plumbing business owner. Okay. Okay. And I think mm-hmm. um, if you saw the, the, the thumbnail or whatever, it's going to be something like, uh, you can do it. Mm, okay. Which I love. I mm-hmm. love talking about, about this subject because okay. I, you know, I always, always say, you know, you, you, you know, that, that, Look, if I can do it, you can do it. True. And I always look like, is that, is that, is that putting me down? You know, <laughs> or feeling like, I feel like maybe I lose some of the, the magic of the million dollar plumber or something uh. if, I, if I say that. But, but it's really my heart <laughs> because it's really, you can be successful in this plumbing business. It's, it's not, it's not, you know, this magical rocket science. Yes. Well, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily that you're putting yourself down because it's, I, that you don't think you're smart or anything like yeah. that. It's more of where we come from. Um, that, you know, and we didn't go to college and had, you know, got a business degree and we didn't have a family that um, was big into entrepreneurial adventures, adventures or ventures, right? So more right. like that, I think, as opposed to that you don't think you're smart. Yes, of course, I think, right. I think you're smart. I know you're smart. Um, so it has nothing to do with smart. It has to do with where we come from, what our background is, where our training has been, all of that. Exactly. So, well, I, that, and that's, that's really is my heart. I love seeing you know, all the success stories. Mm-hmm. And we, we do, I, I don't want to sound like we're bragging, but we, we have, we have now literally hundreds Alice. yes, mm-hmm. of success stories mm-hmm. have gone through the academy and all that and just sharing our, our concepts. And basically, you know, stems from, you know, part of, you know, this kind of thing we're going to talk about here. Right. Okay. Um, you know, and I, I, and I'm saddened by the one I have to, I have to admit, okay. I yes. know the lovely Laura tries to keep me from scroll holing and all, but I, it's part of my responsibility. I, I do want to respond to our social things you know, right. they're involved in our different sites and that yes. kind of stuff that I, I respond that's to. That's good them. scroll holding okay. is going through and looking at engagement and comments. But I do check s- sometimes, I do like to see the, the comments on, on the ads that we put out. <laughs> <laughs> and I see a lot of, a lot of good, kind of pre- thank you for all the nice comments or like, you know, I need this or mm-hmm. yeah, I love watching or whatever. This, and this resonated kind of, with me. Or right, that kind of yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. But I do, every once in a while, I, th- there'll be one to come across as, you know, you're not a plumber <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> or you're just, you're just some kind of scam or whatever. I know I want to address those ones where they're like, you're not a plumber. No, he's, he's not a plumber anymore. I know, right. Right. I, right. It's that you're a plumbing business owner. And those are the ones that kind of crack me right. up. It's like, Oh yeah, let me see, show me the last job you did or whatever. Like, okay, you're not getting it. Right. <laughs> exactly. Well, even one of the ones that are, and I, sometimes I do look and see who they are and they're plumbing business owners. Mm. And I feel my heart just goes out to them other than I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad that they say some mean things. I mean, I, it I see, gonna hate. yes, but I think in their own life, they're, they're struggling with these things. Right. They're struggling with these, these kinds of things. Mm-hmm. And so it's now, head trash. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and so, so they got to get, you know, they got to fight back or they got to say something. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. In fact, what that leads to the first, you know, the first point that right. I want to make on how to be successful and you know, how to be a successful plumbing business owner mm-hmm. Point number one is to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. See, and I think most people, their their knee jerk response would be, "Well, of course I believe in myself. Everybody believes in themselves, right?" That that would be the knee jerk response. But no, we've been, and and I yes, like if you start, you know, it's like yeah, I can do whatever. Mm -hmm. But in all reality, we all have been conditioned in a certain way of thinking right in okay. this line of work this yeah. industry right mm-hmm. and i guess that's like where we come from we don't come from and that's why we're late mm-hmm. you know we both come from um our parents didn't own the factory they worked in the factory both my parents worked in the factory for you know, 20 plus years you know my dad was a mechanic and my mom was a secretary mm-hmm. you know it's about you know it's very very blue collar right mm-hmm. and and so you know, we're conditioned a certain way of thinking of what, uh, you know, where our place is in this world and what we can and can't do. Sure. You know? well, and what was um, modeled to us as our, our family modeled to us, right? If you didn't come from um, a house where they own their own business or created their own business or something like that, it wasn't modeled. And, and, and your upbringing has a lot to do with what your mindset is. So if you didn't see someone um, in your family that was entrepreneurial and going after things and risking and all that, as opposed to, man, we got to get that paycheck. My, ours was on Thursday. My parents got paid on Thursday. They worked for, it's called Dana Corporation, Richmond, Indiana. Go look it up. 
Um, and I knew they got paid on Thursday. And I, as a young child, I knew they got paid on Thursday. That's how much paychecks meant, right? We lived, pay, lived, we lived pay, paycheck to paycheck. paycheck. And we right. would go out to dinner on Thursday night to Ponderosa. Ponder. <laughs> to Ponderosa. Anybody remember Ponderosa? I don't even know if they exist anymore. But that was a big deal. And, you know, we could get a steak at Ponderosa. And I don't think they had salad bars at the time. I'm pretty sure that right. they didn't. Um, but... I mean, that's just what I knew. I knew Thursday's payday. Thursday's meant we can eat nice and then <laughs> come Tuesday of next week, you know, it's mac cheese and whatever, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, our payday was Friday. <laughs> and so we also got taken out. Mm -hmm. We got to go out, you know, and, and get some fast food. We didn't go to Ponderosa. <laughs> we, well, both my parents were working <laughs> at the factory. Okay. so a little, Maybe a little bit better. Got a little maybe bit of, a little maybe bit. a little bit of union money or something. <laughs> That's exactly my dad's right. They're both union. Okay. Oh, okay. And, uh, <laughs> and so, you know, ours was taco, uh, uh, Tico Taco. <laughs> Tico Taco. Golly. I had to Is go to that. <laughs> and I got a quarter for the jukebox. Wow. And so that's when I, you know, I, I discovered Aerosmith. It was back in the day. <laughs> and so I always played uh, Aerosmith's Dream On. That was Dream one of the songs on. always. Oh, you got, for a quarter, you got two plays. Classic. And so I always played Dream On, <laughs> Aerosmith's funny. Dream On. Hmm. So believe, how do we get there? Believe <laughs> in, in yourself. Okay, no, okay that's maybe but, it's because you're, how you're grown up. Right. It's difficult sometimes to, to, to think differently than, than what you're saying. And listening were. to our parents talk about, my parents right. talking about the owners, like my dad, the owners oh, of the dealership and yeah. all that, and how they're kind of, if the money, they're a little slick oh, and all that. Sure. And so that's what I hear. So like, mm -hmm. you know, and I do read a bad comment. It, it's always, you know, from one of the ads. It's always in that voice, which yeah. throws me. Oh, you're I, a business I, owner, and you're you're one of those. You're, you're taking advantage of people, right. and you're just mm -hmm. you're, you're, you know, you're you're slick, mm -hmm. and you know, no, just working. You want to, you know, just no, just work hard, you know, and seven days a week that makes you a good person. You know, it's that kind of thing. It's like, mm. uh, well, well, I'm sure you're a good person for working. Mm. It's true, you know, sure, working supporting hard and that your kind of family thing. And, right. Mm -hmm. Um, but it doesn't have to be, you know, be that no, way. But it, it all not. goes back to that that conditioning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've been conditioned a certain way to you know, to think about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then it also depends, you know, uh, you know, uh, say believe in yourself. I think mm -hmm. faith, I, I kind of went back to, you know, faith in yourself, mm -hmm. which I do go with a little bit of the, you know, the religious faith, you know, the, um, Christian faith, Christian faith, you know, of understanding. If we, you know, if, if you believe that we just crawled out of the, the slime mm -hmm. and, you know, that kind of a thing, and it's the survival of the fittest and whatever. And so you just, you know, I come from a, you know, I just don't come from a DNA line that is as good as this DNA line. Mm -hmm. Then, then it's so there's, there's no hope for me, right? So mm -hmm. it's easy to kind of fall into that trap and to be abused like that. Sure. But you know, as as you know, you know, as I end every potty uh, potty talk, you know, remind you that you are purposely, wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. Created being the operative right. word. Right. So if you realize that's why faith has been so uh, such an important part in you know my life and in growing, and I know in our lives mm -hmm. and for you as well. Mm -hmm. With this idea of being able to how we come from really broken homes with nothing, mm -hmm. you know, and we're really taught in, in so many different ways that we were nothing, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and don't 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 stick your neck out. Right. Don't risk. Don't. Um, you know, you don't you don't want to be the one that that puts their head out first, you know, from the foxhole or whatever, because that's the one that's going to get shot off. <laughs> Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like I can hear my dad telling me that, you know, he's all talking about standing up for yourself. But mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, he'd say something, always keep your head low. Don't, don't stand up for what, how, how do you, how do you do both? Uh, what, right. what, you know, that kind of thing. Cause mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's kind of, again, it's how, how we're taught and conditioned. Mm -hmm. And look, if we're plumbers, the odds are we come from the same background. Right. Okay. You probably hear me, you know, I, I call everyone brothers, all the guys, brothers, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and, uh, I mean, and it's, it's that thing of we, we're, and I, I've talked with plumbers literally all over the world now. Mm -hmm. And so they may drive on a different side of the road. Politics <laughs> may be a little different. The water may go down the toilet. Yeah, it's direction. been a different direction. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Sorry. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's amazing how similar we are. Sure. If we're, if we're you know, in, you know, home service trades, mm -hmm. you know, plumbers, HVAC, whatever, you know, whatever trade may be, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's so cool. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's why, you know, I say brothers, because we've all been conditioned to be, you know, in, in, our, in a certain place, to kind of just get in line, mm -hmm. all right? You know? So the title of the show is How to Succeed as a Plumbing Business Owner. So if, you, if you're listening, more than likely, you're, you're a plumbing business owner, you're looking for, you know, insight and, and tips and things like that. Um, believing in yourself, you know, point one, is so important. to, And it is a, it's a head trash thing to, to get outside yourself 
um, for one, let's give you credit because you did. You you cr- went out and created a plumbing business, which is, which is huge, right there. Which is massive, right? right? Again, I say it all the time. Um, your your plumbing didn't your plumbing business didn't exist until you created it. You're the one that created it. Now, what you make of it, that's also right. up to you. And it may right? just be one truck, right? I mean, just you and a truck matter. right now. You it's, still it, it, created it's this still, business. You created right. a business, right? So you hopefully you've got some bit of you that does believe in yourself, but it's it's doing the things necessary. Um, and I think we are going to talk about, you know, things you can do to invest in yourself, things like that, um, so that you can and do believe in yourself because you're going to have plenty knocking you down. Plenty. Right. Well, I often refer to it. I've <laughs> in the academy, you know, that this is a, you know, we're like in a price fight, you know, mm-hmm. and in fact, I, I can, in, in, you know, in a price fight, you know, like, a, you know, like a Muhammad Ali or, you know, Frazier kind of a fight, you know, 15 round championship fight. Mm-hmm. And really the, who determines who wins the fight is normally, um, you know, the last three to four rounds, mm-hmm. you know, cause at that point you're bloody, you know, legs. Your, your legs are tired, right. Uh, out of energy mm-hmm. and it's just will. Who wants, who wants to win? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, where the difference is with your business. All right. Um, the champion, it's called the championship rounds. Those last three or four rounds, the mm-hmm. championship rounds are the first rounds. Right. Because that's where you're, you know, you're bleeding cash. <laughs> you're writing <laughs> checks. You're, you're doing body everything. Cash. Right. You're doing things, you're, learning yeah, things. You're in the truck. You're trying to hire somebody. You're, you're trying to answer the phone. You're trying to figure out the branding, marketing, all the things. And so it comes down to, and I, I, I've said this before, and I'll, I'll say it again, that really, just like within the academy, we teach you, you know, it's, I can, you know, it's really your success depends on 20%. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we teach you all the right things. Okay. I can teach you everything. I can tell you the right systems, you know, that's what we want, the right systems, you know, the right way to, to sell, Brand. um, the branding, all the, all that kind marketing. of stuff, the marketing, accounting, I all that kind of stuff. That, that's all, that's all easy. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's really, that's, that really is all easy. <laughs> Okay, it's it's not that kind of complicated. We want to make it sound, and there's others out there making it sound all complicated, um, but and but it's not. but it's not. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, that's just twenty percent of it. Eighty mm-hmm. percent of it of your success has to do with what's going on up here, mm-hmm. because it it ain't easy. If it was easy, right. everybody'd be doing it. So it's true. simple, mm-hmm. but it ain't easy because you're going to be dealing with. You know, what's, you know, when you get going, you're going to deal with, you know, it's going to be bad. They don't, the customers don't know who you are. Then you're going to get bad customers. And, you know, the first guy you hire isn't going to show up the day that you hired him, <laughs> you know. And, that never happens. And stuff is just happening. The jobs go south. You don't have any money, mm-hmm. okay. And you're, you're trying to build things up, okay. It's just, it's a fight, all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. But you got to, you know, it's, it's what, and then you got your demons talking at you. Well, my daddy said, you know, my daddy wasn't this. We don't come from right. that. We don't mm-hmm. that. Maybe, so maybe I'm being selfish because I want to make more money for myself. Maybe, maybe or or I want um have a legacy for my for my family. I want a true asset for my family. Right. So. Mm-hmm. But but I didn't but I didn't go to college, so you know <laughs> I'm, I'm not good enough or whatever. Right. You know, the, those are all the lies, okay, um, that, that you're being told. Right. But but if we listen to them, mm-hmm. sadly, a lot of guys do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that that's what keeps us keeps us down. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe right. in yourself. A biggie there. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Number two. Yeah. Point two. Every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business. Stop missing those opportunities with Plumbline. Plumbline is a 24/7, 365 days a year answering service exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Whether you're the plumber owner still in the truck who needs someone to answer the phone, need the service line answered nights and weekends, just want to catch those overflow calls, Plumline is a no-brainer. Sign up with Plumline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and mention that you're a Potty Talk listener to receive priority onboarding. Get over yourself. <laughs> okay? you got to get over yourself. Um, what do you mean? Well, it, I, I, I'll start with, the, I guess, first of all, be, be open-minded. Okay, this um, uh, of a different a different way. Okay, um, you know you've been conditioned uh, to. I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think even some past comments. You know, we go back to the comments on, on the ads. You know that you're you're slick or you're this or you just want to make money or whatever. That's getting over yourself. Those those are things that you're. You know, if you don't want to make money, then why are you even working? Right. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, you gotta ask, you gotta question. Or why'd you start your business? You gotta be open-minded, right. And learn and, and being open to, to new ways, new ways of thinking. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like one, with, one of the big transitions we, you know, as we work on is getting, you know, we say, get your butt out of the truck. Right. It's getting your butt out of the truck. Mm-hmm. Well, a lot of guys will sabotage themselves. They want out of the truck, mm-hmm. 
but they'll wind up sabotaging themselves mm -hmm. getting out of the truck right. because in the truck, right, look, we, we, <laughs> that's our, that's our safe place. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, guys, right? We're in a truck. I know, what's in, I know what's in my truck. When I get on the job, I'm in control of the job. I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But now you're talking about, I got to start thinking, you know, as a business owner, I got to start doing office things. Well, I hate the office. <laughs> well, I hate the office too. <laughs> but it doesn't mean you have to be in the office. It's a way right. of being, it's just a way of being open-minded, mm -hmm. kind of re- um, Conditioning. Right. Reconditioning yourself, retooling yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. doesn't mean you got to give up on yourself, all of a sudden become a slick um, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. wearing a suit and doing, doing whatever, <laughs> yeah. or, you know, stop doing the stuff that you like to do or being who you are. Mm -hmm. But there are some things, um, you know, when, when we, when we are talking with other professional people, we can't be wearing our, our F U T shirt with our, you know, <laughs> with dirty work boots, dirty, and, right. You know, yeah. what, what, you know, that, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, that's just who I am. Well, Okay, get over yourself. That's that's part of what <laughs> I mean by yourself. getting over yourself. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then it's play the part. Look the part. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's yeah, it's having that open mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then part of it is too, is is what it's another phrase that uh, you know, our, our members love hearing me say. Uh -huh. But it, it's um be comfortable, <laughs> you know, being uncomfortable. Right. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Right. So true. You know, Cause you it, you are when you start a plumbing business or as you're growing a plumbing business you are going to do an awful lot of uncomfortable things oh. and uh, things that you've not even considered before i'm sure when you started your plumbing business right you you were a great plumber at another plumbing company and then you decided you wanted to have your own company for whatever reasons most of the time it's freedom um it's for uh, more money um something to to leave for your family or, or whatever right i mean that's the reason that we start um but then you quickly realize um there's a lot of things I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't know. And most of, and because you just weren't trained this way and there's not taught in school, all of those things. Um, and so you're going to get uncomfortable really quickly. Um, when you start your plumbing business, you're going to be really uncomfortable because all these are all new, new exercises or new things that you just n didn't even think about. doesn't mean you can't do them. Most certainly can learn them and do them. And I think we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, but it's, it is getting comfortable being in that uncomfortable state, right? That's what you mean by that. Right. Um, in that uncomfortable state of learning new, new things, of not knowing something, and you're, you know, kind of get over yourself. Finding if you don't know something, go find an answer, right? You, you don't know everything. You you really don't. Um, so go find the answer. Go look for experts. You know, in whatever area, whether it be marketing, whether it be branding, whether it be um, sales, whatever. You know, you don't know it. So go learn it, and then take all those things, apply it to your business, make the business that you want, um, to, so your business can be successful the way you want your business to be successful. You know exactly, mm -hmm. and it's just um, yeah, you know, being being open minded and, and being and getting uncomfortable, being uncomfortable. You know, pushing yourself forward. You know, one of the things is, you know, I, I know the numbers today. But I, I hate numbers. When I started it, so true. Look, I mean, <laughs> and it ain't about plumbing. You know, that's what it goes back to. It's you know, about the numbers. About, it is. It's about not knowing. You know, it's about your numbers, and you don't have to know all the numbers right away. Um, but it is being being aware of the numbers. And if you're not a numbers guy, which a lot of times we see the guys aren't, I, I I'm not okay. But I had to get over myself. I have to I have mm -hmm. to know these numbers right. so I can be charging what I what the company needs to be charging so mm -hmm. it can be successful so you know I can track the best the best talent and you know and we can also make money and, and mm -hmm. do the things we want to do with our business you know right. with the community and all that kind of right. stuff okay by great so, benefits right mm -hmm. so I, you know I had I had to I had to do some math <laughs> 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 which, which, which I didn't love doing you know <laughs> and so that comes down to about part that helps you get over yourself. And we see this time and 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 time again um, in the academy and even with, with our, you know, private clients that um, it's, it's how, how desperate are they? Mm -hmm. The guys how, that are desperate, that is not weakness. No, guys, how hungry. How hungry. As Les Brown says, yes. how hungry. Right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's how desperate are you yep. to, to be successful? So that helps true. us get over ourselves. Yes. The ones, you know, you know, saying you, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Mm -hmm. I see that. It's sad. You know, we see guys that are, you know, in their 40s to 50s. And 50s for them plus. to make them transition, they want, okay, they know that they've just wasted their career. They aren't making any money. They're mm -hmm. stuck. They have nothing, you know, they're working all the time. Their knees are giving out. Right. And they know they got to do something different, but they won't get over themselves. Mm -hmm. They won't let go. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've got, you've got to let go. And what helps is 
you know, it's not how desperate. Now, right. the ones we have seen, the older ones that make a transition, mm -hmm. and even the younger ones, because mm -hmm. the younger side is the guys too that can know everything. You know, now <laughs> they, you know, they, they learn plumbing and they know everything with plumbing and they think they know the world, you know, and they're, well, what are you, 25? You know, <laughs> you know and just turned 30? Or you even, you know, mm -hmm. even that, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so you can be cocky on, on that end, mm -hmm. all right? Um, but those that are desperate, meaning, I'll do whatever. I'll do whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever. Mm -hmm. I just know, I just know I don't want to be here. Right. Where what I'm experiencing right now, mm -hmm. oh man, it's they, they 10 X so almost Absolutely. overnight. Mm -hmm. You so know, true. right. So get over yourself, yeah. get over yourself. <laughs> That's key right there. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, if you're still with us here, we're coming down hard. <laughs> all right. Hard on you here. Yeah, I have something for you. Check it out. Hey, plumbing pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. All right. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome okay. back. Okay. We're talking how does succeed as a plumbing business owner. Yes, before we go, I just want to remind everybody, whatever your device or device, whatever platform you're listening or watching us on, please um, give us a thumbs up, a like, a review would be great. We, we love five-star ref reviews. If, if you love us, give us five-star review. If you hate us, eh, just skip that part. Right. Don't don't do it, um, but you know, share, like know. all the things on. <laughs> give me your uh, give me your hate, and how many respond to it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please, please don't. Oh. Please don't. Uh, we have yeah, not, haters yeah. gonna hate. We, yep. We've got a few of those. Anyway, yep. please do that. Give us a like and all the things. And can I do one other soapbox thing, yes. which I think I may do every now and then on Potty Talk. Um, and I was telling you this the other day where I was at the gym working out and um, in the gym that um, we go to occasionally, well, like we just joined, right? Because we've got one here at our neighborhood and we just joined kind of a bigger one, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, there's a, a section just for women. So there's, it's so, you know, we don't have guys watching you when you're doing squats and, and all the things, right? So I thought that was pretty cool. So I was in there the other day and probably about 10 women in that area, not one of them looked me in the eye. Not one. I mean, we're working in fairly close, working out in fairly close quarters. And so not even an acknowledgement of another human being, right? I mean, we're literally having to move around each other to get a weight or get to a machine or whatever. I want this audience to become people. I'm on it, babe. Yeah. <laughs> for to become these people a, that acknowledge soapbox here. another human being yes. that when you pass someone look them in the eye smile say hello open a door for literally one of the ladies i was coming out she was coming she was the first one she had the she walked through didn't even like attempt to hold the door for me i mean she just on her phone clueless this audience the potty talk audience i want to be those that make an effort to um be aware of humans around you. Be kind. Smile. And teach your kids. Teach your kids, especially your young, no, all, both, boys and girls. Teach your kids to acknowledge other people. Just, you don't have to engage in conversation, but just a nod, a smile, something as you're passing or, or whatever. Um, at the grocery stores, something. I mean, it's really getting on my last nerve. Um, and so I'm, I'm, yeah bound and determined that the potty talk audience <laughs> becomes a kind, um, human what audience what's a better yes. way of saying it well it's uh, there's definitely something been going on socially and what's been going on the last couple of years and yes. all that and it's I all that and it's all to, it's yes. all by design yes. to do just that because we right. keep us separated mm -hmm. so socially that's happening when, right. and it's just rude it's rude to be it's out rude. amongst other people and not making eye contact yes. or nodding mm -hmm. and acknowledging another human being it's, yes. it's rude it's mm -hmm. it's that's all it is mm -hmm. Putting that on business, mm -hmm. I guarantee on to you there isn't anyone who's doing that, mm -hmm. who's in business, or you know, at best is successful at business. Yes, agree. Um, mm -hmm. Because there's no way that you can mm -mm. succeed in business with, without um, having human contact and, 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 being, know, and knowing how to interact with people. Right, exactly. And, and, and whether you're just passing them by doesn't matter. or whether you're having a meeting mm -hmm. or whether you're negotiating something. Or okay. whether you're in your truck with the, you're the name of your business all over your truck and you let somebody in or someone lets you in. You give them a wave. Thank you. Just just a little simple way. It doesn't even take any effort. Right. Just thank you, right? And again, I say it all the time. If you're at the gas station or something, um, open the door for someone. You, you're representing your company. So anyway, get used right. to it, people. I'm, this yeah. is going to be my soapbox for a while and, until 
the world changes. Well, it's a, it's a social <laughs> thing. Um, sadly, as a as a people, we, we're getting ruder and ruder. Yes. So, but this um, audience, okay, we're going to end not, that part on a happy note. Right. For this audience, that's not going to be the case. I want everyone to really make a conscious effort that I, I'm just going to acknowledge people and be nice. And you may take 10 people before someone acknowledges you back. Don't not do it because some people aren't acknowledging you back. You still do it. So there we go. All right. Point three. All right. Well, that, that was a good uh, little was detour. It? Yeah, okay. important. Sorry. But that's also, that's good for business as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So we're talking about how to succeed as, as a plumbing business owner. We said first, got to believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Have faith in yourself. All right. You were, you were created to do great things. All right. Created. However, you have been conditioned not to do great things. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you were created to do great things. Mm-hmm. All right. Number two, get over yourself. Okay. <laughs> Be open-minded. All right. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Okay. And it's okay to be a little desperate. Guys, being desperate is not weakness, okay? In fact, that's almost wisdom, okay? <laughs> all right, all right? It's okay to be a little de- desperate, which leads us to point number two, all right? Invest in yourself, okay? Be willing to invest in yourself, all right? You, with, with, this, with this craft, you went and got the, the right tools, right? Hopefully, you, you, you know, whatever it is, you know, um, you know, with the plumbing, right? You, you get the right, the right plumbing tools and the right power tools and those kinds of things, okay? That's an investment, sure. all right, mm-hmm. um, in your craft. Same thing goes with your, with, for yourself, okay? You got to be willing to invest in yourself, whether it's, um, you know, um, learning, learning new ideas, learning new concepts, learning new systems, mm-hmm. okay? The necessary skills, learning the necessary skills, to run a profitable business. Yes, like okay. um, listening to audiobooks. Right. You guys are more than likely you're in your car or your car, your truck quite a bit. Listen to audiobooks on leadership, on um, like, or Tony Robbins type of books, um, those um, motivational um, type of books. And it's just good to listen. It's better than the ESPN sports, blah, 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 and especially politics stuff. And guys, we can be as political as anybody else, Um, but it's a total waste, especially right now. It's a total waste of time. Do something that's going to feed um, you and and, um, help you to invest in yourself. And invest doesn't necessarily have to be money. It's time. That's time that you can invest in yourself. And in between jobs or whatever, at night, instead of scroll holing or Netflix, whatever, Throw a YouTube up on you know, Gary Vaynerchuk or right. um, just thirty minutes of that. Grant Cardone even can give and take with Grant, but Tony Robbins, something that's motivational that that inspires you. Well, even or on that, old you don't, potty talks. Right? Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> you, know, you don't have to agree with or like everything True. in the style. It's mm-hmm. it's just it's it's that's better feeding you. Yes. There's always a nugget. There's always a nugget of gold mm-hmm. in, in in all those kinds of things. Can I plug another podcast, yes. which? Um, we listened to, um, gosh, for years, it's called Entrepreneurs on Fire. And we'd get nothing for this or whatever. <laughs> the, the, the not owner, what do you call it? The, the host, yeah. um, John Lee Dumas, doesn't know, know her name or anything. But he's got a podcast that's been going on for years and years. We were interviewed by him once. We were interviewed by him sure <laughs> years and years ago. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's Entrepreneurs on Fire. And what yeah. he does, he interviews entrepreneurs. And from all different walks of business and um and industries and things like that and, and it's their story now it may be some industry or business that you have no interest in have no clue about or whatever but i will tell you nine times out of ten you're going to get at least one golden nugget from one of those interviews yes. some a business person who had a struggle um overcame it or um developed something or a new way of thinking whatever it is and he he used to do one every single day and now i think he there's not as many, but I mean, he's got an, a library that you could oh, never thousand. get through. Yes. You, you just couldn't get through them all. But just really, and he's, his style is really good, and it's not heady at all. It's just um, conversational, and it's um, and relational, all that. So right. John Lee Fun. Dumas, Entrepreneurs on Fire. But Add it's so to important list. to invest in yourself that way, mm-hmm. as opposed to yeah, you know, as we're as we're doing this potty talk, you know, it's the football season coming. You know, I, I love football too. I mean, it's great. All right, guy. All right, football guy. I was, in fact, as a guy, I almost have to like it. You know, that kind of stuff, it's right? Like but it's like, <laughs> right. But it, it's a waste of time. So to spend all the time watching ESPN and all different programs on, you know. All the stats. Right. And, and who's doing what, where, and how's training going and all that. that that's a waste Such of a your waste. time. Right. I mean, watch it, the game. You know, watch the game yeah. on your Sunday or if you're at college Saturday. Watch the game. Enjoy that. But as far as the ongoing, knowing the ins and outs of the sport and the stats and who's, that's just stupid. If you own a plumbing business, that is just a stupid waste of your time. And the whole idea of owning, again, so owning the, you know, a, a plumbing business then is we, it's leading towards actually creating wealth, not just having a job that you own, right. okay, but but creating wealth and a, and a family legacy, okay, and 
that is, and it's so, 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 so possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we got to step outside this line of, you know, the way we've been conditioned and, mm -hmm. you know, getting over ourselves and then just, you know, doing the same old thing, not doing anything that, that really, um, moves the ball forward for us. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And living vicariously through these, these athletes and, right. you know, even, even the, you know, and, you know, and then the politics too, you know, mm -hmm. it's in the, I, we get it, you know. Mm -hmm. Laura and I are both, you know, very politically minded. We have political background. I mean, we we, we we get we get pulled into stuff or whatever, mm -hmm. um, and so so we get it. But it is a waste of time. I'm here to tell you. In my years, of just sixty um, professionally over thirty years of you know in the professional world, business, mm -hmm. you know, only on, we who's been the president and whatever. Looking back, mm -hmm. hasn't mattered. Mm -mm. Has it mattered the economy? Has it now things that things can affect, right. you know, mm -hmm. and, and things go, you know, happen and certainly can affect you. There's nothing you can do about but, it. But yeah, but nothing stands in your way of your, of your success. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. In and, this country. Absolutely. Right. For sure. Um, so inv invest in yourself guys. Yeah. And again, it doesn't have to be money. It can be time. Um, invest, taking the time to, to invest in yourself. You, again, you started a plumbing business. The assumption is you want it to be a business, not a job you own, like you say. Right. right? But on that, in the sense of money, being w willing to pay money for a coach. That's true. That leads mm -hmm. to, to yes. coach up. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of, one of my favorite, favorite stories um, is um, Michael Jordan. You know, I, when I, I'm in the sport, it was basketball, so mm -hmm. it kind of dates me. So you can tell he's my guy, Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, he was already won like two or three championships. He was already known as his airness, you know, and all that. It was already Michael Jordan, MJ. I mean, he, he was already the thing, all right? But thing, his life was changing. His abilities were changing. He wanted, he wanted more championships, and he knew he had to learn to play the game differently, all right? So he wanted to learn how to play like a big man underneath. Now, he probably could coach every. I mean, he could coach everybody, <laughs> all right? Okay, both in mental attitude and physicals, whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could he could do it, mm -hmm. all right. But he got a coach, and I'm not talking about you know was it Phil Jackson, mm -hmm. you know that sat right. on the right over. He got, he got a different coach. He got he got a different mm -hmm. coach, all right. They coached him up on how to play like a big man, and right. then he went on to learn uh, win another what four? I don't mean yeah, win seven. I mean no just idea. I mean eight, ten. <laughs> I mean he got he just he just kept winning. Okay, mm -hmm. he kept winning, mm -hmm. all right, because he was willing to get coached up right and invest okay. yeah and, not, and right. you're exactly right it's just, not just time but all, but money on um, there are I mean, there's places you can go and conferences you can go and, and things like that where it is going to take um either money to get there or money to to attend or whatever it is start investing yourself take your plumbing business seriously that's the other thing with with million dollar plumber and potty talk we we want to um call up plumbing business owners so it it it, it becomes um, this honor, which it is an honorable trade, this, the, the butt crack plumber and, you know, just all the things we've always talked about, right? right. Let's, let's call the trade up. Let's be the professionals that we're supposed to be. So, all right. All right. There we go, baby. Wow, that's on a all right. Hey, we I want to help you too. Okay. I want to, want to coach you up. Okay. You can schedule a free strategy call with us. That's true. All right. We'll just have a conversation. Mm -hmm. All right. We want to, we want to hear where you're at. Um, and obviously we do have some things that could help if we feel it's a good fit for you, it'll be offered to you, but there's gonna be no pressure on that. I'm not about that. I don't care. You know, it's just, it's just there. We just want to have the conversation and out of, you know, out of the conversation at a minimum, you'll come out with a nugget of gold that will, that will help you, you know, move on up. All right. right? So schedule your free strategy call mm -hmm. go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. Mm -hmm. All right. And okay. schedule your free strategy call. All right. Okay. Episode 399 in the can. Hey, there we go. Hey, Ooh. next one's 400. What in the world? Hey, you're not going to want to miss that one. <laughs> I think, I think I'm going to tell some fun. I want to tell some of our, um, story, scary stories oh, or good. Doing something. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, I'd want to see that list right. first. <laughs> okay. But so, some of the things that, that we struggled with or whatever. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Hey, We'll see you in the next episode. But before we let you go from this one, as always, we want to remind you that you are purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. Mm -hmm. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. <laughs>